by God's wonderful grace and mercy, we want to uh, continue with our midweek service. And uh, first, before we do the uh, continuation of the lesson we had last week, we've been having, I uh, would like to add a quick um, it's a reminder, it's also uh, to help us to be up to date because uh, it may appear that, um, well, uh, some of us need to hear it again because it helps us all uh, to be on the same page and that's very helpful for us all. And the topic that we want to address uh, this evening is again it's a short one but then it's very helpful for us all it has to do with tithe offering tithe offering tithing and um, you know what we give so we'll read from Deuteronomy chapter 26 verses 1 to 3 and then we'll also do uh, some in the New Testament. Here is God's word. And uh, again, Deuteronomy 26, 1 and following. And it shall be when thou art come in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance and possession And possess it and dwell it therein too, that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth which thou shalt bring of thy land that the Lord thy God giveth thee, and shall put it in a basket and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. Three, and thou shall go unto the priest that shall be in those days and shall and say, pardon me, unto him, I profess this day unto the Lord thy God, that I am come unto the country where which the Lord swore unto our fathers for to give us. Amen. Deuteronomy 26, 1 to 3. And then let's uh, go to Exodus 22, 22 and 29, which says, Thou, Exodus 22, verse 29, says, Thou shalt not delay for uh, to offer the first of thy ripe fruits and of thy liquid uh liquor or the drink uh the first born of thy sons shall thou give unto me amen that is also a quotation from uh exodus 22 verse 29 and then we'll go to first corinthians and uh, see what God has written to us. 
and it says first Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 13 to 15 says Where it says nine, uh, 13. Do you not know that they which minister about holy things live off the things of the temple and they which wait at the altar are partakers with the altar 14 even so hath the lord ordained that they which preach the gospel should live of the gospel 15 but i have use none of these things neither have I written these things that it should be so done unto me for it were better for me to die than that any man should make my Glorify, glorying, uh, void, glorying. 16. I think we'll stop at 15. Uh, that's uh, 13 to 15 is what is being uh, provided to us. But the whole idea of this is to remind us that God gave instructions to the Israelites. And the Israelites were operating under the Old Testament and God instructed them to offer their tithe offering of 10% to the, uh, to the temple, to the church, uh, you know, to the priests so that they would be able to do their work. And that was in the Old Testament. The New Testament continues with the same, I uh, think we read, uh, uh, a portion there. What happens in the New Testament is that we have better, uh, clearer understanding of what was given to the Israelites in the Old Testament. And so the New Testament is God's expanded uh, blessings upon us, uh, especially those of us who were not, you know, uh, Jews. And God has invited everyone to come into his kingdom and yet he did not remove the tithe offering. The tithe offering is still there. And so sometimes we want to say, okay, where it, in the Old Testament it was 10%. Fine, this is all right. In the New Testament, we say, okay, yeah, ten, uh, I will do the same, uh, you know, 6%. However, or is it 10%, whatever, uh, you know, percentage that is there, of course, uh, it's 10%. Now, in the New Testament, one can say that I have received more blessings than those who were in the Old Testament and those who received the gospel or the messages in those times. But in the New Testament, we have more blessings and more advantages. And so one may say that, well, instead of the 10% that we are required, everyone is required to offer to God. It's not being offered to the church. It's not being offered to the pastor. It's not being offered to anyone. It is God's commandment. It, in fact, we didn't read all the passages because it will be, there are so many passages. And if we go to Malachi chapter 3, 7 to 12, there are more information there. So it is not that 
when we give our tithe offering, we are giving it to the pastor, and the pastor will use it. This, you know, it is given to God. It is God's commandment. And when we are doing it because of God, God rewards us more. So anyone who thinks that, oh, it is because of the pastor I'm giving it, because of the pastor I'm not giving it. No, it is all God's commandment. It is not my personal uh, instruction, my personal command. No, it is all from God. So may the Lord help us so that what we give, we are giving it to God for his grace, his mercy, his blessing upon us, especially those of us in the New Testament. The Old Testament uh, people, you know, they gave. So it is not that we want to say something different. We are just trying to remind everyone that it is a requirement by God and it is given to God. And God is one who will reward us as we give. And so uh, some will say that, well, I want to know what the pastor is doing with the... Uh, no. It is God's commandment. It is in the Old Testament. It's in the New Testament. So may the Lord help us so that um, if we need more information, more clarification, it is not uh, whatever we want. The minimum is 10% for everyone according to God's commandment. And the more information there in the scripture, and actually we do have a lesson that we made uh, sometime in January, and the lesson is online for anyone to review. So may the Lord help us and consider that it is God's commandment. We are doing it for God. And one other thing that we may add, if we have more than one church we attend, fine. One has to decide how you want to do it. Uh, you want to uh, split it. But as long as we are giving, you know, and there are people who actually, uh, should I say, donate. They donate, you know, more for a particular reason. Oh, they say, well, God has blessed me so much. So instead of 10%, I'm going to give 100%. I'm going to give 50%. I'm going to give 70%. It is all a determination in the heart. But God will bless everyone. Whatever we have given or continue to give, may the Lord help us and bless us so that we consider this. Any other clarification that we need, we can answer it uh, offline whenever it becomes uh, available. Uh, whenever we have the questions, may God bless us and uh, reward us for obeying him, obeying his commandment. Now we will continue with our continuation of the lesson we started uh, last week.